Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play of City Skylines, Circle City, round about now. And I've done a lot of the time skip. And uh, what I've been doing, basically, is um, add more public transport. So we now have 74 bus lines and some um, 31 tram lines with tons of trams. And I've even added a metro line. Or at least, well, at least one single one, because I'm just testing something out. And I discovered something interesting. You see, the airport, the international airport, when that was deluged by the um, tsunami earlier, that destroyed the subterranean su subway station. That is part of the international station, uh, international airport. And it's not possible to rebuild it, because it's actually within the main structure. Uh, that's, that's a really, really annoying bug. Uh, I tried to look around for any way to fix it. As far as I can tell, there is no way to do that. There's no way to repair it. Uh, there's no way for the disaster relief services to come here and actually search the station for uh, victims, for that matter. So it's impossible to recover it. Uh, other than, of course, destroying the whole airport. And if you do that, you destroy the road that is attached to the airport. And that's gonna break all the bus routes and everything else here. So, not really, not really interested in doing that either. So, uh, what I did was I built a secondary station outside as a quick fix. So now at least these areas are somewhat connected. With a very short metro line just going from the docks here, through the airport, and over to our uh, central hub here, with the stations we built ages ago. So I'm going to build more of those, of course, but uh, that's going to be for the next time skip. But yeah, uh, most, mostly what I've been doing is building a ton of public transit. Buses and trams, that is. And so, they are now on the roads, increasing the traffic quite a bit. <laughs> uh, but still, th things are rolling along. Uh, I've danced up a bit of the uh, surrounding and remaining area. There shouldn't be any... Uh, light zonings left on the flatlands. I'm gonna keep the ones at the higher, at the peak, at Zeke's peak, the entire mountain here. Uh, it's gonna be lower residential, I think, because it just look, looks better, I think. Uh, and I've also been building the special buildings, uh, at, at least enough now to actually plant one of the uh, ultimates. Basically the Eden project, we can build that and that's gonna increase property values. And that's something I do want to do because that's going to be that's going to increase density quite a bit. Um, I want to put this somewhere near the center of town, uh, but there's a limited amount of areas where we can actually put it, though. Let's see now. That's one of the train terminals. We could build it here. Um, these are residentials, right? No, they're commercial. A bit of agricultural ones. And they're fairly close to the train stations, aren't they? Let's see, that's... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong spot, aren't I? There we go, up here we want it. Closer to the actual stations, yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna plop it down and see what happens. Uh, let's have a look at the pollution before we do anything else. That's, that's what the Eden Project is supposed to counter. I don't know if it... J I, it's been so long since I built those things in the, my first few cities. So, I do not remember exactly the effects of the darn thing. But cleaning out pollution sounds rather nice. I assume that the land value... It says land value is global, right? In the city area. Yeah, that's fine. But does, does that mean just near the darn thing? Or the whole city? Because if it's only in its surrounding zone, well... We won't really get much effort... Uh, much out of it by building it up here. Hmm... I heck with it, let's do it. We're gonna build it here. 
build at the top of the farmlands. Facing the avenue, yeah. Kaboom. It does, of course, suck a fair amount of power. Not operating, come on. Oh, there we go, on pause, that kind of helps. Okay, now it's operating. Let's have a look. Does the production change anything right away? No. Um, what about land values? I forgot to check that though. Yeah, no land values there. Oh boy, yeah, it had an effect, I dare say. Uh, instantly swept away the entire land value of this darn city. Uh, production, not as instantly adjusted, but uh, by the looks of things. Is it receding? I don't know. It is receding. It's gonna take a little while longer, of course, but... It looks like, yeah, it basically stops pollution from being produced, I assume, and... That's gonna mean... that means that all the... Stuffs are gonna... Re rescind. At any rate, um, since land value went up, that should also mean that the average... Um, average... Uh, type of building is gonna be start... they're gonna start... they're gonna start upgrade to the final level, hopefully, and that means more taxes, which is very good indeed. Okay, at any rate, we are returning to what we hold, traffic. So, now we have bosses, quite a lot of bosses, running around, adding more to the chaos. And of course we also have the trams, adding to the chaos. Crossing through the various intersections. The sad thing is that I do not quite understand how to make a profitable train, uh, tram, line, tram line. Because th when I start set, set all the, my routes up, the game spewed out so many trams, and most of them go like this. Not a single person on board them. Old music for old Which is rather sad. Oh well. Still. Since there are so many trams, I can't kind of understand why uh, there aren't many people on board them. Simply too many of them. And I also had to plop down quite a few extra train depots, because for whatever reason, the game can't quite seem to decide how many trams to keep on, out on the map. So they constantly go into the depot and then out again. I've actually seen quite a few of them with the passengers doing that. And that kind of annoys me. Now, uh, other things, let's see, we had the little fix we made up here, and it looks like, okay, I'm wrong, it's still heavily congested, this one, and I suppose that makes sense, because of course all the traffic from here will also try to exit onto the highway. Um. Especially traffic from here. Hmm. Oh, better yet. Oh, I didn't realize that. Uh, all the traffic here is trying to go out on the highway. Well, actually, no, they have an exit path here. So that's not going to be a problem. It is traffic from here going this way into the city. Hmm. So I could use another shortcut. Simplest way would simply be to build a road from here and then straight onto the highway, but again, that would break our little rule of thumb here. Now we do have a roundabout here with no exit. Exit point. Uh, if we could manage to squeeze out something there. It's gonna be difficult. This is on a cliff. Uh, the only way to do that would be to go on a bridge structure over there and then into the mountain. Which is not ideal. Um, let's see, this structure... 
actually does have an end. All oh, right, that's curvature there. So that leaves this. I think we can do something here. It won't necessarily be pretty, but it might work. Famous last words, I know. So let's see. Let's see if we can make it a fairly even entrance here. Uh, like so. Okay. Now we have an entry point. So now I want to go from there and latch onto the highway somewhere. It's probably over here. I have no idea if they're going to prefer going that way though. Um, yeah, I'll have to use the, hi the highways because I need this road to be faster than any option. Okay, so... Let's see then, if I want one of these to be fairly flat. And I want somewhere from there. To that, there we go. So this I have to attach, let's see, I have to go below or close to it. It's below it, right? Oh yeah. Um da -da -da. curve this. Can we curve it all the way onto the Yes, we can. Excellent. Of course, it immediately defaults to the surface again. I don't understand why the hell, why the hell it always does that, but... Okay, let's verify. It's so difficult to see the underground layer when you clutter it with surface stuff. Um, now we need an exit. Uh, let's just use the standard tool. It's gonna be sufficient, I think. As long as we can find some open space so that we don't get the hole. Do you want to build to the surface? No, I don't want to build to the surface. I just want to exit this path. There we go. And now I can build fine. Let's see. Try to use the curve tool. game doesn't have to there we go let's see then if any cars will use this instead I don't know all the other route for that matter Of course, we do create a problem for garbage trucks and stuff like that, because now they have nowhere to turn. Which means they would clog up the arteries, arg. Maybe that was a mistake. Yeah, again, this is a little problem with all these roundabouts. Things don't always work the way you hope. Still, some traffic is certainly using those now. And traffic here is actually flowing quite nice. And the problem is over there. Okay, so why is traffic here using this to turn onto the highway there? Oh, yeah, um, that has to do with my little fix over here, because cars are coming out here, they go onto the highway, they actually want to go this route, and instead of using the access points for that all the way over there, they go onto the highway, off the highway, onto the highway again. Um, so there's yet another type of road we need. 
basically a slingshot. And that one's gonna be trickier to make. Can we make a slingshot out from here and then into the hill? Oddly enough, it'll let me build this. Okay, I've... Come on, let's see if we can get a reasonably flat curve. Okay, that works. Now I need to do the same thing on the other side. Which it would let me. Of course I have to turn it around, but I'll do that later. I'm not sure if this is actually the case, what's going on over there, but that certainly what it looks like now. So, I'm gonna do this as an experiment and see. Of course, can we get... Can I select a point between you darn highways? No, of course not. Um, let's go even further down. Kind of like that, that's fine. Um, let's see, you... That's your straightaway point. That's where you want to curve. I want to curve you and hit you onto this. Can you let me do that? Great. Great. And we flip this round. And we let the simulation run. So if anyone uses this road, then we know. Ideally nobody uses it, so I can delete it again, but if that's the case, if this is gonna be used, then there were cars that were good, basically going from here and using this as a way to turn around. So I'm kind of hoping that this road isn't gonna be used at all. But if it is, at least we have that little pressure val valve now. And of course, traffic this way seems to be flowing a bit better, since we have alleviated some of the pressure with this uh, snake road there. So far I don't see any cars on the extra road. It is functional, isn't it? It is intact. Yep, it is connected. On the bright side, we're now making quite a lot of money thanks to the Eden projects raising the uh, property value globally. So quite a lot of the city is being upgraded. Not all of it, but most of it. That's good. Okay, maybe I'm very wrong then. It doesn't look like anyone's actually using the uh, release valve as I thought. I'll keep it there for now, though. Worst case, I might just use it to connect some other end stops. Um, not sure what that would be, though. Should also mention that, given the size of the simulation right now, my computer is starting to have some slight issues running the darn thing. So yeah, hiccups. I think it's because it's saving the game. But I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, look there. Most of the, most of the traffic is gone now. Good. Okay, so now this one's chugging along. The release tunnel over there is being used quite heavily too. Though again, I wonder if this is kind of a uh, kind of a uh, um, result of this road here, making it difficult for them to turn around. Not that it matters. I mean, it's actually a good thing for uh, supply trucks and uh, those kind of things to just get back on the highway and back to where they came from. So that's fine. Uh, I did notice one thing about the airport, and I'm sure you did too. 
It is yelling about uh, garbage. And I don't know how the hell to fix that. Because I think that is a direct result of... Of um, the, the underground station thing. There should be more than enough capacity for garbage. Uh, what about pollution? Oh my. You're definitely counteracting pollution. And it's still weakening, even now. Does that mean there's no pollution actually being generated? Because if so, I'm definitely going to build an <laughs> incineration plant somewhere down here so we can fix this blasted, blasted problem. But because are you really just complaining about access? Or is it simply that we have now so many buses in this area uh, that you can't send in garbage trucks? I'd make it a one-way street, but uh, that wouldn't work very well, all that well either. Let's see, how did I set up the trams and buses? At least one of you seems to be going in this direction and around there. Oh, I think that is the most specific line that I... yeah made one bus line down to the uh, harbor area just to fetch people up there to the airport but uh, now we have the metro doing the same thing let's see if we can find the darn thing the darn, uh, ah, the darn bus in the list uh, da -da -da -da, let me see there we go uh, should be airport circuit 5 yeah there we go you aren't really needed. Okay, it's not you that uses that point. Okay, which of them? Circuit 2 is the oddball here. Going against the, all the others. Um, begs the question: Can you make that a one-way street? Can you upgrade the street that the uh, that the airport is built with? I don't think I've ever tried. And that would be a negatory. Um, Assume. Okay, that's actually feasible. So we could make this a one-way street. Uh, which would make sense, because uh, most of the traffic will go in that direction. Wait a second, the airport... No, they still has, oh, it still has pollution. Uh, pollution. It still has uh, garbage. Let's have a look. There's all, this line is the only one going counter to all the others. How do you actually work? How do you go then? You go out to the roundabout and then you turn around? Yeah, you do that. Dang it. Okay. Just to get those two... Um... Well, in that case, I want you to not have this stop.
and I don't want you to have that stop. And that should change the way you drive, I believe. Yeah, now, now you fall in line with the rest of them. More or less, you don't even stop here. Which is fine. Yeah, let's try this. I want to see if this actually changes the pattern for the better. Why are you upgrading it in different directions, though? This is inbound. Thing is though, we can't upgrade the airport road itself. So... That's gonna be a bit of an issue. But the rest of them are free to upgrade. Now the question is, which way did you upgrade? <laughs> the wrong way. You're not allowed to go in this route, so I need to flip these. Of course, and then I have to look over here. That is an inroads. Okay, good. Now the darn thing should be the way I hope it should be. Let's see now. Check the bus lines. Yes, you're all following suit. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Um, of course, I need to change the priority. Sys signs. And we do have something blinking up there. I don't like that. Something got broken. Dang it. I hate it when lines get broken like that, because it's such a pain uh, to fix them. Um, okay. Which bus line is broken? And what? how the hell do I click to make me fix it? Arg. Well, I know it's one of the uh, airport metro lines. Uh, bus lines, there we go. Not you. Dang it, which one? I think it's four. No? There you go. Circuit one. You be broken. Okay, everybody except circuit one. Let's have a look. I can take away the tram lines too. You know, the metros and everything. I just want to see this. Problem child, you got broken, but where? All the way up there, okay, um... So if I... dang it, I don't want to create a new line. I want to modify this darn thing. So why do I... Oh, because I'm holding the metro tool. Uh, um, Buses! There we go. Much better. <laughs> oh, sure. Now you fixed yourself. Alright. Okay. Um... actually stop here now or is there a round circle kind of 
Stop. No, it didn't set it to stop there. Good. Right. I'll go down there into the bus station and out and around Alton, out into the city where I wanted to go. Okay. Uh, to verify, that is one. And two is on the other side. And everything's dandy. Lovely. Okay, so now we've made this a one-way street, and hopefully that'll actually <laughs> increase the throughput here. Maybe we'll even get some garbage trucks getting all the way down to the um, Flights of Fancy Airport. Otherwise, we'll be making some kind of thingy bow over here. It looks like the, all the pollution is going away, so it's, it might actually be safe to build an incinerator right here. We'll see, but that'll be next episode. I need to take a break here. Thank you for watching. <laughs>